What's up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan of KyleTheWriter.com, and today I want to cover how to bribe in copywriting. Now, there are two reasons for today's video. I had a couple coincidences occur. The first is going to revolve around comments. So I love to dig out content ideas from comments. We have one about a week ago. Kyle, what does bribe actually mean in copywriting? So this actually, this topic in question sort of reappeared a little bit last night on our Copy Squad Inner Circle call with our Inner Circle members. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to sort of address this question head on, how to bribe in copywriting. So here's what I want to cover in today's video. The first thing, what is a bribe? Uh, the second thing, where do bribes go in regard to a lead? And then three, I want to give you a couple examples I used straight from the call last night that we recorded. Now, if you're interested in way more detail on this topic, plus the top five most important elements that you need to build a lead, I invite you to check out copysquad.net forward slash lead. I'm building out a new leads course that will cover basically piece by piece how you need to construct your lead. So just visit that website for more details if you're interested in that. Okay, so diving into this, the first thing, what is a bribe? A bribe is, it's just like it sounds, like if, if you do this for me, I'm going to do this for you. Okay, so that's, that's like sort of the literal definition of a bribe. I'm, I'm going to slide you something, and you, in return, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back. So the bribe and copy is essentially as if you stick around. If you stick around to the end of this presentation, if you continue reading, uh, so the, the sort of key terms you're looking for is today we will reveal. In just a moment you will see. Uh, you might see something like uh, if you stick around to the end of this presentation, we will show you. So basically I'm asking for an exchange. That's a bribe. If you do this, I'll do this. Okay. If you stick around, I'll reveal this. So where do bribes typically go? And I'm talking specifically within regards to the lead at this moment. So they usually go right after you've done like all the other pieces of the lead. And again, if you want to learn all those, I'm, I'm working on a course for that, copysquad.net forward slash lead for more information. But once you've got all that stuff, all those pieces in place, then everyone's hyped up, they're jazzed up, they're ready to go. And you say, now, if you, now what you're going to see today and what we're going to reveal in just a couple moments are going to be A, B, C, D. And generally, you don't want to do more than like three, maybe four bribes. You don't want to just like, one of the things that I had to ding one of my writers for was he had like seven fascinations, like, or bribes, you could call them. And I was like breathless by the time I read all of them. I was just like, you got to give me a pause. You got to give me a breather. So just list like your top two or three most interesting things that you will be revealing ahead. And I've got some sort of templates. I got four different sorts of questions that you should focus on or that are probably the most pertinent to the reader that are also universal that will go into all uh, different sales presentations and things like that so that you can use this no matter what niche you're in or what you're writing for. So uh, that is going to be straight from our Copy Squad Inner Circle call from last night. So I will just simply transition over to that now and peace out Copy Squad. So like one of the things that I think we might have mentioned on one of our previous calls was like after seven fascinations, I become breathless. Like if you don't take a breather and say, and much more or something, like I'm going to be like, I can't read anymore. Like I hyperventilated reviewing this copy. So I think you could do like four strong fascinations. And there was something that I would point to in, I think it was Kelly's submission with, when it comes to those fascinations, or bribes, you want them to fall in the domain of the four questions, what's in it for me, how is this possible, like the catalyst and world building, uh, how does it work, like your mechanism, like how you found this stock or your system, and then how can I get started. And in a promo like this, how can I get started is the ticker itself, is that in the single ticker that you must buy today, that's how you can get started, right? So let's go down the list. What's in it for you? In, in just a moment, I'm going to reveal what's in it for you. I'm going to reveal how you can take $50,000 and turn it, or $5,000 and turn it into $50,000 in the next, next six months alone. All right, so the next question is, how is that possible or the catalyst? All right, so it's going to say, turn it into whatever in the next six months alone. The hidden project in a mountain in Montana that's blowing the lid off of the energy sector and turning 
you know, making billion dollar CEOs lose sleep at night. So that's like your world building. Like, I'm going to reveal that to you, how this is possible. That's making all this. So basically you can finish that fascination if you're doing it correctly. You could always finish that fascination with that's making all this possible. You know, that's the question they're asking. That's making all this possible. And the last thing or the next thing would be like, you know, how does it work? So there's the mechanism can be embedded in that, that stock. You could say the, the proprietary technology that, you know, has set one stock up for massive explosive success to tap into that catalyst, right? And then the last thing, and I'll reveal exactly how to get your hands on that stock. At the, is, if you stick around to the end, I'll reveal exactly how to get your hands on everything you need to invest in this stock today, which would be a newsletter subscription. So those are like, that's how you can kind of answer those four things. What's up, Copy Squad? I hope you found that useful. And if you're interested in getting a little bit more details about how me and my team set up our first seven pages of a sales letter to give us the best shot at seven figures, I invite you to check out copysquad.net forward slash lead. On this page, you can be the first to get details about a brand new leads course that will illustrate and step-by-step -step show you the strategy that me and my copy team use to generate over $50 million in gross revenues in a single year in financial publishing. So all you gotta do is go to this page, copysquad.net forward slash lead, uh, enter your name and email, and then hit the enter button, and you can be the first in the know as new developments arise. Thanks so much for tuning in, and peace out, Copy Squad.